time is 3.19. The time is 3.19. The time is 3.19. Thousands of times a day in Melbourne alone, telephonists until recently spoke into an ever-demanding microphone providing for subscribers an accurate the time, time of day is service. But now the manual the system has been replaced by half. robot equipment. The time is 10.32. Australia's first speaking clock came to Melbourne in the liner Arcadia on her maiden voyage to this country. Contained in 37 crates, it was carefully unloaded under the supervision of post office engineers. At the same time, Sydney received its speaking clock. Automatic equipment which gives the time every 10 seconds, day and night, and which, if need be, could answer 600 inquiries simultaneously. In other capital cities too, as the subscriber demand grows, similar automatic equipment will be installed. The task of installing the clocks, each weighing many tons, began under the supervision of a British post office engineer, whose care guided Australian technicians through the intricacies of assembly in specially prepared rooms. The mechanism itself comprises two complete units, one working and one standby, each connected to a different source of power supply in order to safeguard against a breakdown in the service. In operation, three glass discs, each revolving 30 times per minute, carry a photographic record of the announcements, similar to the soundtrack on a motion picture film. The announcements are arranged in concentric circles on the discs and are scanned by means of a photoelectric cell and lamp placed on opposite sides of the disc. The changeover in the time service from live announcements to automatic was made in both Sydney and Melbourne in November 1954. At the third stroke, it will be 9, 50 and 10 seconds. At the third stroke... The clocks are accurate to one hundredth part of a second. Each is checked every 24 hours against a master clock housed in the post office research laboratories in Melbourne, which in turn is itself checked daily against the standard chronometer maintained by the Commonwealth Observatory at Mount Stromlo near Canberra. The complete announcement is broken into sections, part only being carried on each disc. At the third step, it will be 10, 27, and 10 seconds. At the third stroke, it will be 10, 27, and 20 seconds. At the third stroke, it will be 10, 27, and 30 seconds. A cathode ray oscilloscope is incorporated in the equipment, so that the technician may check visually any variation in the working clock from standard time. And now, on the twist of a dial, the robot machine tells us the time, 24 hours of the day, a new time signal every 10 seconds. It brings the Australian time of day services into line with the most modern development in the world. It's another service brought to you by the post office. At the third stroke, it will be 10, 28, precisely. 